Okay, I'm now cleaning the mirror of this telescope. I've removed it. And as you can see here, we have some uh, spider web. So I'm just going to clean this also with a duster before putting the telescope uh, mirror back. This is a Watcher 300P. That's one foot. And I could see NGC 2403 galaxy, uh, magnitude 8 uh, galaxy in the Camelopardis the other night. Really good, as, despite all the webcam and the dust and everything. I could do it. Now, I marked everything so I know that the uh, screws, this was the first one I opened. So that's the first screw. Uh, the cross one was the second one I opened. So that's the screw. Then I opened this one. This is a circle one, the third, and the fourth, then this, and this. So I put them back exactly the way they are. The bottom ones are th this and this. So we will see how it will go, and I will show you the result. And this is the mirror. I was worried this is the oxidation. It's not. It's just a little bit dust. So I'm going to clean it now. I have the deionized water and the tap and everything ready. And uh, cotton wool. Okay, I've done the mirror cell here and I've marked the uh, uh, mirror holders, clamps uh, and hopefully I will put it back exactly the same place and I have done it in the past once, uh, you see this label, this uh, sticky electric tape shows that and uh, now it is the number two and this will be number three uh, hopefully I will put the mirror exactly back on the way that it is and I will remove it exactly the same way also. So let's do this and uh, I remove, I, it's better not to wash it with this whole cell because there are cork somewhere, it's floating on a cork so the cork gets over the water and this gets time to dry or maybe even come off. So it's better to remove the mirror from the mirror cell. And I've done it in the past, so I'm doing it again. Okay, now what I've done is instead of removing the whole clamp, I just loosened one screw, this one, and remove the other one so we can turn it around and the mirror can just be pulled out. And then I can put it back the same way it was, so I don't lose any anything in this process. Okay, the whole mirror is now out. And this side, which has this, one of the marks will go anyway. Doesn't matter. Oh, I have a mark here, which I left there. Yeah, that's good. That shows that mark will be here, and this clamp will be to the yeah left of it. Another mark here, also tiny, and this is the bigger mark. This one is where this clamp will be. So this arrow which I placed already will be here. So let's go and do a cleaning. Okay, I've shown the full process in another video, this comprehensive video. So basically what I use is cotton wool, some washing up liquid, tap water, then uh, I spread some isopropyl alcohol that we use for, it's called rubbing alcohol. You just spray it there. Again, gently with the rubbing alcohol you move it along like that and then when it is done you just wash it again and rinse it with the deionized water so no um, lime scale marks will be left on the mirror uh, you can refer to my uh, whole video about this and uh, this is the second time I'm washing this mirror so it just works refer to that one please if you want to see the whole process so the mirror is clean, just didn't took more than 10 minutes, so it's ready now. And I'm just rinsing it with the tap water, then after that I will use the deionized water. For removing the small droplets when I'm drying it, of course, I will use the uh, uh, tissue, just absorb the tip of the tissue, you bend it and make a sharp point where the tissue, then drop by drop you absorb them to the tissue. That way works really well. Then you can put it back in the mirror stuff. Okay, the mirror is now left on this surface is a oven and there is a hood with the light over it so I can see what's happening here. I may try a little bit with the air blower, hair, hair dryer. 
just to blow the, some of the water away. Whatever remains are absorbed by the tissue. The mirror already looks really nice and shiny. The mirror now is completely clean, back to a good way it was. I just clean up the uh, mirror cell and then install the mirror. I have now put the mirror back. I uh, use gloves to lift it and put it here. And the arrow is almost there. I just shift it probably a few uh, fractions of the millimeter, one millimeter, just to the left. And that will be done. Then I can put clamp it again. So the mirror is now done, is installed. Uh, I blame you see it's nothing, it just uh, I was transferring it. Anyway, the mirror is done. It's ready to put back in the telescope tube. I have to clean the telescope tube because they are copper. Just remember, tighten up the things, but not too tight, and do all little by little, so don't completely tighten up these two. Uh, do this one also, do this one, then uh, gradually tighten up, start again from this, from this, from this. So you don't want to introduce any stress to this mirror. Okay, now the mirror is back in the cell and ready to be used. I will just try to see if I see the animation. After that, just wait for the darkness.